it's Sunday, January 5, and uh, just come back from church, and um, I've been having trouble with Hugo. He's been very aggressive, um, more so recently, um, since I found um, in his diaper, there now is like these brown, brown coloring in it. It's not splatches, it's not bread, bright red, but it's like throughout the urine. So I, I don't know what it is. I've kept, well, I obviously keep his diapers, so I've kept it. Um, so this has gone on for, uh, you know, un under a week, maybe five days or so. And during that time, his aggression has increased significantly, so much so that uh, I had to, uh, sleep in a different room with the doors shut um, and that angered him that angered him the next morning when then I got up um, he was angry um, so he's having heightened um, aggression um, he has gone after me I've got pillows and stuff I've, I'm protecting myself um, last night actually when we went to bed I, I was really fearful um, he allowed me to lift him which again, it's all tentative. It's like cat and mouse. It's cat and mouse, and and, and it's just I, mean, I don't know when he's he's gonna flip. But when I was petting him, he didn't react to anything. He didn't react to anywhere I was petting him. So, so I don't think it's anything on his extremities or whatever. I think it's whatever's going on inside. So, in any event, had conversation with Mary today. So this has been going on. Um. Stuff happened this morning, wouldn't let me take the diaper off. There's a lot of stuff has been going on, a lot of the aggression. And um, so I came home and I prayed for him. And he was sitting on the little chair that I sit on. And he's rarely there. Um, no, matter of fact, he's never there. Uh, I think there's only one other time in these past couple of days that he's been sitting on there. So that's got to tell me something. He didn't come down, um, which he's not been doing that much, um, but he didn't come to the door. Um, but he looked okay. He didn't have his ears flapped down. He didn't have the physical look of aggression, which I'm now, you know, keen to. Um, and he looked okay, but I went to pet him and he went to go after my hand. So, so um, I'm going to have to take him in. And I have to look at him. Um, I love him so much, but I don't want him to be in pain. And I don't want him to be afraid. And I don't want to be afraid of him. And I'm very afraid of him over these handful of days now. Because I don't know when he's going to turn on me. And when he does turn, it's scary. And um, I don't want. I don't want to get bit again. Um, these little, these little, I'm, um, I'm, um, in any event. So I just, I probably time to put him down. Because I don't want him to have a life like this. I don't want him to be in any kind of pain. But I also, if they come up and say, well, it's this and we'll give him this pill, I don't know that I would even do that. I just don't know. Fearful living um, like this, and I'm sure it's, he's in fear. I'm sure that he is, but the one thing I know is I'm not doing anything. I don't think I'm doing anything to hurt him purposely. I think he's just in pain. Because in the past, I think when he's bit me before, I take blame for some of that. And not knowing things, not not understanding it, but I've read up on things and I understand a little bit more. And I think now it's different. I think now he's in some kind of distress. And could it be mental? That's what the eye doctor nurse had said. Because he's been acting just, they call it the Alzheimer's. He's been staring at walls. He's been doing stuff. Stuff has gone on over the last year, but what's going on now is different. It's different. And I just can't have him have this be the rest of his life. 
however short it is, because he's 12 and a half. And I can't live this way either. I love him. I love you, Hugo.